Uh, well, welcome back. How was it to get to get straight back into things last Saturday? Um, it was quite um, unbelievable, to be honest. Um, I think uh, my hard work and dedication to not being in the squad um, really helped me develop as a player and as a person, knowing that it's never always going to be easy, especially being a professional football club and at such a good club as Colchester Star. There's always going to be competition for places, so just have to be patient and just um, work hard and just keep grinding, pretty much. Yeah. Had you been sort of spoken to by, by both head coaches as it is now as, as to why maybe you, you weren't included and why you'd sort of been taken out of the firing line, as it were? Um, yeah, so um, with the previous gaffer, he basically told me that there were just a few things I needed to work on that really, um, not really, Woody um, does better than me. Mm -hmm. So obviously yeah, I used that motivation to um, do extras, work on subtle things, um, my different ranges of passes um, is one of them, um, just uh, stuff like that. And then obviously the new gaffers come in, um, hasn't really seen a lot of us and it hasn't really seen me. So I just have to wait, wait my time and just uh, work hard and show him what I have in training and to hopefully get the chance, which I did on Saturday. I mean, it has been quite an introduction for you, hasn't it? I mean, you've had three permanent head coaches in charge of, of you this season in making your first steps in professional football, a couple of interim head coaches as well. I mean, your, your head must swirl at times. Yeah, it's been, it's been tough, but a lot of the older lads have told me that that's football. They've been through probably like 20 managers over their um, careers, so it's nothing like, cha managers changes, club changes, but you can't change as an individual. Your work rate and application can't change. You, know, you have to be dedicated, you have to be on it 100% in, in training, off the pitch, on the pitch, just as simple as that. And what a game to come back into as well at the leaders where arguably you were unlucky to be 2-0 down, could have won it in the last seconds, could have lost it in the last seconds, but deservedly got a point. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a great game to come into. I was a bit nervous obviously because they're the leaders, but on the pitch when the whistle goes, it just full focus in the zone, but um, I think the team played really well because a lot of teams would have crumbled, especially 2-0 no down towards the last, what, 10, 15 minutes of the game, but we, we knew what we came there to do. We, we were resilient and especially the words from the gaffer at half-time telling us that they can score two, why can't we, you know what I'm saying? So um, so we just we just stuck in and uh, obviously a worldie from Noah, but it, it was just it was a great game. Especially when the team has been struggling for goals as well, to retain that belief right up to the 93rd, 94th minute. Yeah, it was. To be honest, I feel like, especially with the older lads, um, like Chamber, really kept us on it. Like, just, we're just unrelenting. Just kept going, kept going, kept going. Because we knew there were, were going to be chances in the game. There was always chances for like, the whole 90 minutes anyways. So just have to, if something drops, we just have to take it. And um, yeah, which we did, thankfully. It is closing up again. At the, at the wrong end of the table, isn't it? But, it? but it is in your own hands, I guess, and that's the way you're looking at it, going out there, just get the points on the board and then not worry about things. Yeah, but obviously with every game, we take every game as it comes and we go to every game to try and win, um, not really get a point. Like That's our mentality. We want to win every game from now to end of the season. Even from the start of the season, we wanted to win. Um, didn't really go that well, but regardless, our mentality doesn't change. We go to every game, try and win, get three points, and that's it. And nice to have a couple of home games on the run as well. Yeah, it is great to obviously play behind our fans and get our fans on us. Because um, obviously when we play with them, I feel like the energy from us, from the crowd, like kind of transfers into us and we try to play and obviously get them, get the support and the togetherness in. Good man. Thanks, Alan. Thank no you. Thank you. Well, whenever I've spoken to you, you've always spoken about hard work, which has struck me. You're very kind of conscientious professional. Um, how important is that to you? Is that something that, that's kind of in your life in general really that, that dedication and, and working hard at something yeah um to be honest i think it came from my my dad of course because he always told me that there's a saying there's no food for a lazy man kind of thing so it's like um if you're not gonna work then there's nothing out for you you only deserve what you get from when you put in from things so just especially with football and it's obviously been taught from the academy here all the way to the first team if you want to make it there and obviously on beyond you have to put in the work. And obviously for me personally, like I wasn't always one of the best technically um, at football, but with the help from the coaches, just hard work. The, the more you put in, the more you get out. The, better, the more you work on specific things, your weaknesses, the better you'll be at in the long run. And obviously it's helped, but it's still, there's still a long way to go, obviously. So just, just have to keep going. In some ways it's hard to believe it's your first full season as a professional and so much has happened as Glenn said you played on the three head coaches already this season um, you've played you made your senior debut 
played in, in so many uh, fail games already. I mean, uh, have you had time to sort of take stock and think about what's been happening this season, or is it a case of just as you say, relentless game by game? Honestly, I haven't really had much time to think about it. Um, I just think it's just, just I just, I just want to play as much games as I want to, as I can. Obviously, you just have to keep working, keep, keep grinding, um, and obviously, like people like Chamber, who has like over hundreds of games, like that's where I want to get to. So I think maybe towards my end of my career, I might like take a bit to look back on it. But the journey has only begun. You know what I'm saying? So just have to just keep going and get as many games, and obviously, good performing games. Um, as well out there as much as I can here. Yeah. You spoke before about the academy. I mean, is it nice to be in the squad with some of your fellow academy graduates, people like Junior, Noah, Samson? Yeah, it's great because obviously I've I've known them for many years now, so it's great to have like a familiar faces around you. Um, but obviously, it's good to have a good mix because obviously we young lads we add something to the group that the um, older lads kind of feed off of. Because obviously we're young, we want to run, we want to work hard. And they, the older lads, see that, and obviously they want to do the same thing, and obviously they add their experience in. So I think it's just a great mix um, of both, really. And how much have you enjoyed playing Ben Gunn so far? It's only been a few weeks that he's been here, but has he brought different ideas? And how much, how, how beneficial has that been to you? Uh, it's, it's been unbelievable, to be honest. Like, obviously, um, all the coaches I've worked under have been have been great, um, but the current gaffer, he's been he's been very, I'd say meticulous and very detailed with what he wants to do, very structured, which obviously helps because when like, let's say either me or Junior get the ball, we know where everyone should be kind of thing, where what our different options are as an example. Um, but it's, it's honestly been uh, unbelievable. It's been great to work under it. You've been playing the other 21s where you've been out the first thing. Has that been helpful as well, the fact that you've learned to keep that game time going at least? Yeah, it has been. Um, so obviously you don't want to just not play football. Um, you want to have because any football is good football, really, because you need that game time, you need those minutes under your belt. And like, it's only been my first season with the first team anyways, because so 20 feet football is a much different. You go into the game wanting to win, wanting to show what your, your abilities are, you know what I'm saying? So especially for me, since coming back down from the first team, um, it's kind of been a way to try and prove myself, to show I shouldn't be here, like no disrespect to 21s, but I shouldn't be here, I should be with the first team. Um, so I've just been, just been trying to just do that. Yeah, and obviously you would have liked to have been playing in the first team, but coming out of the team, has that given you almost a little bit of a rest? I know you've been playing for the under 21s, but the, the position that you claim is very demanding. Um, and we, we've been spoken to Matt Bloomfield about you being out of the team initially. He did say, I would have rested out because he's been playing so much and stuff. So, um, has that helped you? I mean, did you feel that on Saturday, perhaps, that physically it's given you a little bit of a rest and you come back fresher? Um, yeah, a bit, yeah, it has definitely, um, especially mentally as well, because it is tough especially as my first season, just to come straight back in and um, try to just keep going. But obviously, mentally, like, you, you want to keep going, but sometimes it is better to have a rest. But yeah, I've, I've used the time well, um, just rested my body, and now I'm back on it just for 100% to the end of the season.